I'm Laura Parisi. I'm the president of the Italian American Historical Society. I am very pleased to be here today. It's a great, beautiful day on this beautiful park. And I have two sites that I'm very close with. One of them is the former Marzullo's Bakery in New, that was in New Haven. And Marzullo's was right, right there. 23. 23. So that's on, on your brochures and in the book. <laughs> um, Ernie Marzullo came to visit me at the society years ago and he was very proud to donate to us, to our society, some of the pots and things that were used in the bakery. And it was just so, so exciting. The first item that they gave us was this pasta cutter which was nice because you could vary the size of the strips of pasta based on whatever you wanted for lasagna or angel hair pasta, whatever you wanted. So it's a little bit broken. One of the little legs is broken, but it still, it still works. It's pretty heavy too. It's a solid, solid piece of equipment. One of the other things that they, that Ernie donated, many of you will remember, what this is, ice tongs. They would deliver ice to the, um, the chest and they would put the, they have the ice truck every day and they would get ice. So that was another doc, an item that they gave us. And all of the Marzullo's um, pans were all hand hammered, all handmade for Marzullo's bakery. And this is a copper, pot inside. It's very heavy, as you can see. It's a copper pot, and they used it for special things like the, the egg whites. You had to use copper pots for certain certain baking. So this was one of the hand-hammered copper pots for the Marzullo's Bakery. I was so excited. I just could not believe that they were donating these items to us. <clears throat> And one of the last things that I brought today, there were some other items, but I didn't bring them all today. The last item is kind of a little test to see if anyone knows what this might be. Does anyone have a guess? Okay, so people are guessing pasta. What else? Pastry. Pastry, another good guess. Okay, well, these little bars are permanently What is it? Meat, meat, meat tenderizer. Nope, not a meat tenderizer. These are all very sharp blades. So they would make a delicacy in a pan and use this to cut it. Brazil, no good guess, no. So they would make it in the bar in the bakery, and this cutter was used to cut the tarone. So I stopped at the bakery at Marzullo's. This up, um, Marzu um, no, not Marzullo's. Um, Lucibello's, thank you. Well, Lucibello's, and I bought two boxes of tarone for everyone today. I hope there's enough. They're little square candies, for those of you that don't know. Individually wrapped. Individually wrapped. I got the individually wrapped ones. They have a thin, thin little wafer on both sides of them. And the size of them fits in, fits in pretty perfect to the way the, the cutter was for. So, um... that here right here so you could come up and look at it later and feel free to lift it up to see how heavy it is so Marzullo's people came from all over to have their bakery their cakes made for their wedding it was a really really important store in the New Haven area